Vi er på standen til Mois Audio på Hortenmessa, og her er en veldig spennende høgtalerkonstruksjon som heter Musical Affairs. Uh, what can you tell me about these loudspeakers? They sound quite unusual. Uh, unusual, I hope you mean that they sound okay. <laughs> Because uh, the intention of the speakers is to uh, bring over the emotion from the music mm -hmm. up to the listener. And the way they are built is uh, using uh, wood, which is being used in musical instruments as well, mm -hmm. uh, like in violins and pianos. Uh, it's a lightweight enclosure, uh, enclosure, a cabinet, so to say. So if you knock on it, you can hear it's quite hollow. Yeah, like a guitar. Like a guitar mm. or like a piano. Mm. So uh, the enclosure, the cabinet, is meant to participate in the movement of the corners. Mm -hmm. So at the whole, it will make music like a musical instrument. Mm. Like when you play on a, on a guitar or a violin, you will not only hear the strings, you will also hear the cabinet playing. Definitely, yes. You mm. also will hear the, the tonal, tonal balance of the wood. Mm. Yes. So that contributes, in our opinion, to the music. So these speakers are excellent, uh, suitable for playing classical music mm. and jazz music. Mm. And But they will handle rock music as well. Mm. There's only slight coloration, of course, because of the wood is participating. Mm. But in our opinion, nothing is resonance-free. So if something starts to resonate, you better can um, take advantage of the resonation and put it into practice, especially when banning out. You will not succeed in banning out the resonation of the cabinet. So. so the subjectiveness will be an ideal and not trying to be something that is impossible to be objective in the, in the, in the sound. And that's true. Uh, in my opinion, someone who say he is objective isn't objective at all. <laughs> Uh, but uh, when you make a construction like this, will it be um, preferred by some kind of music and uh, other kind of music will not be suitable for this? Yes. Uh, so classical music or uh, small uh, ensembles of jazz mm -hmm. will do very, very fine. The emotional uh, capacity of the music is transferred almost 100% up to the listener. So we see that in uh, the small group of enthusiasts about classical music and jazz music, those people are emotionally touched by the speaker and want to have them. Mm. So that's the main, main focus, the main audience uh, of our speaker. Yes, they are very interesting. Uh, uh, do you know how much the price is in, in Norway? In Norway, in kroners? Yes. Oh, that might be difficult for me. Okay. I, I will do it in euros. Yes. Uh, it's depending on the finish. Uh, if you took, if you, we have them from 8,000 euros up to 18,000 euros. And this is the top line. Mm. Okay. So, and you can get them in different uh, colors of wood. So different wood sorts, um, what you like. Mm. So you can make it into your interior. Yes, it's mm. part of your interior. Mm. It's meant to be a cabinet. Yeah. You also have some electronics here. That is very interesting. Yes. Uh, wall amplifiers. Trafomatic. Trafomatic uh, yes. amplifiers. It's a very good design. It's a push-pull design with 300B. Mm -hmm. It's one of the most uh, wanted valves or tubes at the moment. Uh, it delivers about 15 watts per channel. And it uh, combines very good with the speakers as you may have heard. Yes, and uh, at the bottom here is uh, some electronics as well. Yes, th that's, uh, that's a streaming audio. It's uh, by SOTM, SOTM, and uh, we can operate through an iPad the music which is digitally stored and it's high resolution. Mm. So same quality as uh, Super Audio CD. Yeah. Very good. Okay, thank you very much. You're welcome.